Oh, shikes. Let's get it. The point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. <gasps> But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town, a little way down the track, named Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. 
That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book.
Good morning, Arthur. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go! Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Gonna get that fella's horse. Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Ah! 
Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Not again. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Dare's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What, you looking for trouble? Can't believe it. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. 
but I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. some of this damn cheese. Ooh. Bro, give me the cheese. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Don't forget to put that back. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there, New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. 
find you, Willie. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off him! Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. You're lucky we're in a busy town, you son of a bitch! Get your ass off that horse. Aww. <laughs> Shit. Get your hands off me! You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all the boys. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away right with now. Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! Friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Uh, Wasting uh, my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Opa, There's lots of cash no sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give more. Hey, uh, quit following. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. We need to talk, pal. I didn't mean nothing by it. Honest. That's far enough. You have to help me! Wow, 
Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Let's go, girl. Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Hello. Hey, friend. Mm. Hello. Come on, ladies. This turtle will put a smile on your man's face. Guarantee. Hey, folks. Hello. Hello there. Bring it up, ladies. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, I must say, 
You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. Oh, oh shit. Come here, you. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business <laughs> is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always. A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can. 
carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Holy shit! Well, howdy. Welcome back. No, oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Would you lack any assistance? Yeah, okay. Sure. You can just leave it to me now. Oh, geez. Hope the water's hot enough. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. My dog Copper used to take baths with me when he was alive. Well. <laughs> oh, I'm glad of this. It's been a hard few days. Well then. Uh, we don't like strangers much in this town. That's how it goes around here. Does that feel all right? Very nice. All right, I think I'm good. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, <laughs> Mark 
cleaned up now. Let's go. It says I've been banned from the saloon for what I done last night. I don't even remember going from nowhere. Still in the saloon. Anyway. Gentlemen, how do you do? Hard. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other <laughs> stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and... Well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. <gasps> Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house.
Blackwater Marsh. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that later. Hello, mister.
goes there? Arthur, you dumbass. Look what the cat dragged in. Keeping out of trouble there? Of course I am. I'd tell you to do some work, but you'd only mess it up. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Well, I'll take what I can get. Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. John. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before I can make that. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Hey, get up. What's going on, Arthur? Ah, I've forgotten what it was now. Ah, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> hey, get up. Where are you at, Strauss? Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. 
Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. to work for. Mister. Tak, tak, Mr. Rob. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh. German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the no, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. 
We've all had a bad winter, pal. Where is he? No. 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 Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Don't even speak English. It's very valuable. Good? Not good yet. Should about cover things. Let's go, boy. Mister? Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Perfecto. Damn it all! How the hell? 
hell did you beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first, wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Trying to catch me off guard, huh? Shot one, goddamn game. Some bitch, man. I swear to God, I already fucking shot one of these goddamn birds. Got one. Shoot, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <laughs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. I'm going, all right? This is a warning. Get! Okay, okay. Yes, Start fucking shooting at me, huh? Oh, my horse is okay. Yeah.
Good boy. <laughs> You chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, you might want to talk to that fella over there. Now nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Are you Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, Long Shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, get back here. You owe us money, man. Yeah. You make me go much further, I'll get more than a debt off you. Yep. <laughs> Easy, whoa. The second hour under the half moon by the great love and grace of our Savior.
Lily Millet is. She's with Cooper over by the store. You have any idea of the whole I mean? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take... Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn money. Money, you leave me please. alone. Law, hear about this. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. What do you want? I've got nothing to say to you. The 
Nothing for you to concern yourself with. What in the world? Hey, hey, I don't even remember what I need to forget. Help, help, I need help. It ain't even worth it. Okay, boy. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. And uh, I think I'm gonna end the stream here. be back on later if not hope you have a good rest of your day